We have before us this question of allowing indiscriminate and harmful cuts to our armed services and other vital national governmental works. I agree that we must address the debt and the deficit, but it's not a new problem, and we have fixed it before. Right now, our national debt stat stands at about 105 percent of GDP, gross domestic product. In 1946, it was close to 122 percent. And we fixed it, not by austerity, not by slash and burn. We fixed it by investing in America. We built our national highway system. We made our armed services the envy of the world. We even rebuilt Europe and Japan. We went to the moon, for heaven's sakes. By the 1960s, our economic growth was so great that it was impossible for anyone to complain about the Roosevelt debt with a straight face. That's what we need to do now. We need to believe in ourselves. We need to invest in the great engines of our economic recovery, our infrastructure, and our middle class. And so, Mr. Speaker, I urge the members, be bullish on America and repeal in place this dangerous sequester. I yield back the remainder of my time.